we welcome you to this new video where we will see how to add devices to the battery operated Vesta by Climax control panel. In the previous video, we have seen how to configure the APN and how to register the control panel in the user section and in the installer section. To add devices, we have two programming methods. The first is to configure the devices directly from the keyboard on the panel screen or by doing it from the installer app. Let's see both ways. To add devices to the control panel, the first thing we have to do is enter as installers. To do this, we hold down asterisk button. It will ask us for the user code. We type in our user code. If we haven't changed it, it is 1234 by default. We press OK and it will ask us for the installer code. The default installer code is 7982. If we haven't modified it, we enter our installer code. We are now in the installer menu. Now we go down to the device section and click OK. We press the first option to add the device and we are going to add all the ones that we have here. Keyboard, normal detector, PAR cam and remote control. We press add device and it tells us that we have to press the button. For the keyboard, as you know, you have to hold down asterisk and hash for 2 seconds. Once configured, the control panel confirms that it has been added correctly. Since the keyboard has no settings, it is simply added. If we have a detector, it will give us a series of options to configure. We are going to add the second detector. We press the button that we have on the front and it tells us that we have an infrared. Do we want to add it? Click OK and set the type of zone. How do, we, how do we establish the type of zone? We enter edit device and here we have the infrared. We simply press OK and we indicate the type of zone. Here we have interior tracking, interior delayed, entry 1, entry 2, delayed home mode, silent intrusion. What we are going to use are the options above. If it is a detector and we want it to be delayed, we simply put input 1. If we want it to be instantaneous, we simply select the interior option. In this case, I want it to be instant. Therefore, I select the interior option. Do we want to apply a scene? In this case, we don't want to apply anything. Doorbell? Nothing. Do we want to cancel it? No. In this case, we are going to leave it normal. The name of the device, in this case, we can define it manually or we can select the predefined names. If you want the front door, for example, or a dining room, we select the name of the dining room. We can edit it if we want. Once the device is configured, we go back. To add the PAR cam, we follow the same procedure. We press add device and press the PAR cam button. In this case, I keep the enroll button pressed and the battery power control panel will detect it. Here we have the response, infrared camera, press OK. Now we edit it. To establish the zone type, we go down to 852, which would be the PAR cam and we assign it, for example, if we want it to be a delayed zone, because we are going to set entry delay one. Apply scene, nothing. Doorbell, we don't want it to ring when it's disarmed. And here we put the name, although we can leave it blank if we want.
Finally, we are going to add the controller. The same, we go back to add device and press the button on the remote. We press the disarm button once and we see the result. We go back and we have all our devices configured and operation. We are going to carry out an arming test so that you can see it from the keyboard and a disarming from the remote so that you can see how it works. I type in my user code and hit the arm button. We are arming the system. We are going to abort with the command. We simply press disarm and command is sent. The exit delay is stopped. You are going to see the same configuration, but this time from the mobile phone. For the configuration from the installer app, we, we must first enable the cloud in the panel. We have already seen it in the previous video, but we will repeat it so you can see it this time faster. We hold down asterisk. We enter as installers and dial the user code. Next, we type the installer code and OK. We go down to the network section, network configuration, and we go to, down to the last option which is the cloud and the app. We simply give OK and we enable the panel internet connection. Once configured, we will wait a maximum of 3 minutes and it will already be available in the installer app. Once the cloud is enabled, we enter the Smart Home Sec application and go to the installer section. We select the installer and log in, as we have recorded in the previous video. We enter the BOGP, battery powered control panel, and enter our installer code, which is by default 7982. We log in and enter parameters. The corner part is where we have the settings. We open the device section and we add a new device. The control panel is in search mode and now all we have to do is press the buttons on our devices to send the add command. We hold asterisk and hash button in the case of the keyboard for 2 seconds and release. And in a matter of seconds it will appear in the app ready to be added. We just wait a few seconds and here we have a keyboard. We choose keyboard, click send and we assign the name to it. It is much more easier to configure the devices from the installer application as it is much more intuitive. Here we mark keyboard floor 1 for example. We give OK and we have the keyboard added and operational. We will add more devices. Adding devices is complete. Let's add the detector. And to add the PIR cam, we will follow the same procedure. We simply enter the menu and select a new device. In the case of PIR cam, we press the add button, we press it twice to send the command. Now it appears in the installer app. We select it, we save it, and we wait until it is configured. We will call it PIR cam dining room. OK. That's done. We are going to configure it as a delayed zone. We mark delayed zone and click send. Successful update. Let's go with the latest, the remote control. Simply add the device and press one of the buttons. In this case, the disarm button. But we can press any of the buttons, disarm, arm or arm at home. Every one of them enables adding. We click send. We assign remote control of, for example, John. Successful update. And finally, we just need to check that everything works correctly. In this case, we are going to arm the system and see that the command starts the arming process. You have already received the arming notification. The lock has already changed and here we are with the exit delay.
Thank you once again for joining us. Please consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with us more easily and you can leave us your comments or doubts. We look forward to seeing you in the following Bydemis videos.